Hey Dream Mace here, welcome to the channel where I play through Xbox Game Pass games, give tips and tricks along the way, reviews when it's all said and done, because uh, that's the only true way to give reviews, uh, you can't give a review after your first few hours. If that's something you like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we are here for young souls, and we're whoa, very hard to point, but uh, okay, some, somewhere over that direction. Uh, we are 4 of 33 achievements and 55,000 gamer score into the game there. And inside the actual game here, uh, there is... Let's just uh, make it a full screen for you guys there. Uh, there is actually, when you fast travel, uh, and you're at the... Or is it the computer? One of these windows displays how much percentage you've actually gone through. I think it's when you're at the computer uh but we are here to head into town and we're gonna go in and uh see if there's anything we can buy and sell and uh do in town and then we're gonna come back and do some more uh fighting inside the uh through the computer and the gates and stuff like that um thanks for joining me uh it's, it'll be fun today uh this game is uh feels like a comic book so let's uh jump on this moped and cruise into town out past the farm. That's where I want my mansion, out past the farm. I'd prefer the farm, though. Okay, so we want to go into probably the pawn shop. A little bit further. There we go. Let's uh, see if there's anything we can buy or sell, stuff we don't need in here. Uh, maybe she'll have some stuff we can actually buy. I hope I get some more wear soon, starting to run low. So 20 and 10. We'll sell the common ones, because I don't know. Okay, so then we can go up. And you can sell the full stack. We're going to leave those alone, just in case they're used for something more. A common rock, I think we can just get rid of. Let's actually... Uh, so weapons... I'd say we could probably get rid of these two. We don't need them. Uh, Shield of Willy the Coward. Bin lid. And Bruce's shield. And armor. We just have the pots and pans. And the little helmet. Okay. So we did make a little bit of money. We have more goblin gold than anything else. Which means uh, sneakers. We can go buy, uh, possibly buy a new pair of sneakers. So we'll uh, go check that out. This shady guy over here. Let's go talk to him first. You could spend most of your time out in the cold. It's a living. Uh, my jobs make me stay out as long as uh, out as a lot as well, no matter the weather. What's your job? What's yours? Touche. He's got a shady feel about him. That's for sure. So Teen Spirit, we'll talk to the homeless guy here. Don't mind Bandit, he's depressed sometimes. He'll be back to his happy self soon. So we talked to the mayor in the last episode, so we don't need to actually do that. And if you notice in the bottom left-hand corner there, there is... Um, actually, you know what? It might be better to move me down to the bottom right. Because I am covering up some of that. Here. We'll uh, go like that. Down in the bottom hand corner. There we go. Uh, I feel that's a little bit better. I'm more out of the way of things. And yeah. Just trying to make it feel better. It feels weird me covering up the screen. I'm going to have to uh, really work at fixing that. Ah, uh, you two. We heard from the mayor you'd be coming. He said you'd know about uh, the creatures. They're called goblins. We do have one of those creatures living here. Goblins. 
rent on the property is free and we give him a few pairs of high tops every month or so and try and stay out of his way. He's nice. The mayor told us it was okay for you to meet him. You, uh, you can go talk to him, though I wouldn't suggest touching him. Alright, one, two, three, let's go. Hi. Nolte? Wow, how long have you been there? Many moons, so Nolte. Young soul, uh, many moons, young souls, many moons. You never wondered why our shoes grant supernatural abilities? I figured it was just marketing. Nope, that guy over here, over there, he enchants the sneakers. That's why they're so pricey. Yep, goblin magic doesn't come cheap, I'm afraid. Fair enough. Looks like we'll have to sell a lot of junk at the give and go. Worth the price, my friends, believe me. We can, so we have 800. So we can get refresh sneakers, which cool, or refreshes the cooldowns, reduces cooldowns for uh, accessories, boosts your sprint ability. I think we should save and wait for the Midas step and get uh, one where you can get more gold. So we'll wait on a pair of sneakers that we get a little bit more gold. Outfits really truly aren't necessary. We don't have any happy fit tokens. Uh, we don't need to go to the well. So that's... Oh, I guess we could maybe initiate dialogue. You don't seem old enough to drink. Hey, you two. Hey. You two are full of surprises, the mayor told me. He's kind of chatty. You know about the goblins? Yeah, no big deal. You know about the cool conspiracy? It's so fascinating, isn't it? It's something all right. Have you ever heard of Yarlanda? We saw her statue. I bet she was beautiful. I'm an expert on Yarlanda's story. Ask me anything. I was working with the professor. I have so many of his notes and so many translated texts. I'll show you all of it. It feels so good to talk about this. Someone who isn't the professor. Oh, I hope you get to meet a goblin someday. Would you like to talk about Yara Landa? She's my favorite subject. I don't know. Uh, I don't have many people to talk to. A legend. Alright. Goblin Ur story. Force of habit. Goblin history is fascinating. Uh, it's full of real life legends. Figures that stand so very tall. You know about Yarlanda? She did so many things throughout her life. Which she's most famous for standing up against the human army. With a few loyal comrades and her battle pets. She died that day. But the humans were unable to stop the goblins from re uh, retreating into the earth. Most goblins believe that she single-handedly saved their species. And based on my research, while most goblins think uh, she was a legend, she was real. Okay. So your Landa, even though has a statue, she was real. Okay, there you go. A little tidbit of information. Uh, we can fast travel over to the moon gate. Just be the, it's the quicker way to get there. Fast travel. And the bug, I have no bodies. Only when I'm like moving around. So there you go, another, yet another bug. It's uh, a few of them that I've seen. Not to mention spelling errors. Uh, I, I, when I noticed it yesterday, I didn't kind of dawn on me because uh, G-A-O-L is an actual word. It's just another word for institution or jail. Um, so I was confused because it was a real word. But yeah, goal is spelled wrong. If you want to actually attain a goal, it's G-O-A-L. So, uh, a big fail on that one if you're trying to actually spell goal or if you're actually talking about an institution. So, if I see that again, I'm going to actually look at it. Uh, so, there's like five little different paths we can go through to uh, where we need to go. Uh, we did go through down this one. So, we're going to go back into the main area here. And it's already linked up. So, let's, let's go make ourselves not invisible. 
Okay, I'm still invisible. That's a pretty bad bug. That's annoying as heck. Wonder if I bring her in, if that'll help. Okay. Oh no, now she's invisible. I might have to uh, exit and reload the game. Because that's, that's bad. I... I I'm going to be jumping around and I'm going to have a hard time following where exactly she is and what she's hitting towards if all I can see is a scarf. Uh, most often when you ha are encountering bugs in a game, the best way to get over them is to just restart the game and give it a fresh restart uh, as any system um, or any technology you're running into. Just give it a fresh, a fresh go over um, and... It'll have a chance to boot up and hopefully work properly there for you. So let's, um, I'm signed in. We're continuing on this one. So right here is actually where the save percentage, how much you've actually completed through it. So playtime and completion. Uh, so this is slot two is where we are. No. I'm trying to think here. Which one is it? I think it was slot two. Let's go into slot two here. See if that's the one. We can go around over to the computer and find out right away. Because I uh, took a different path in one of my other playthroughs. So, if, as long as we have that right path discovered, it should be okay. Yeah, I, I believe this is the one. But we are actually are all there now so let's just, yeah this is the right one okay all right so let's just cruise on through here and we opened up the one that's kind of down below us there and went through that one this one right here the other day uh and the other one that was open in here was on the far right hand side we did get the key to go into that jail uh to go in here prisoner's path uh but we're gonna actually go over and we're gonna go into this side here and fight through this side what we're gonna do and then continue our way through the different uh areas off of this one try and get through all of this but we'll start with uh, this guy here Go a gate right, uh, right off the bat. There you go. All right, kicking that door. You're seriously not letting me go down any further? That was weird. She needs to equip a sword. We'll give her this guy. These two guys. Because I like how fast she is. I'm a stone, a common goblin rock. That's how you get sawed in half. Just take the hit and go through. <laughs> Run and jump by there. What is 
sleep and gain another level. Oh, they must be. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I have um, leather vest, faster stamina regen, and light wear, weak protection against ice damage and frozen effect. Uh, I have an ability where the I can summon these spiders. So those spiders that came out, I thought they were something that was attacking me. It turns out they're mine. So we have some spiders, some extra backing, which is kind of cool. I think so, anyway. <laughs> it's always nice to have familiars running around, extra damage. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any of the keys yet. just so much slower than she is. Scimitar, slower attacks, or attacks are slower. I think I'm gonna have to upgrade these weapons for her. They're strong. Yeah, I think her speed is a huge advantage in combat. Yeah, so uh, not too bad to try and fight through some of that stuff. Let's make sure we get all the goblin coins. Deadly Tower. Go take a look at the Deadly Tower. That sounds like fun. This weapon is of uh, hers really strong, so I'm not too worried about even like up to level 10. Honestly, I mean, uh, she's just a beast. We'll just trash everything first here. Okay. Well, that's a little awkward. That feel of doing that. Okay, so let's just kick this door in. Okay.
summoning some of these guys. Right? Yeah. sure exactly how I did that. I just mashed the buttons. Uh, there we go. So we got this guy. Huh. We beat him up and it's, uh, I think you're clearly. Oh, there we go. Another guy out of jail. Thank you for your help. You must be professor's kids. Uh, you must be the professor's kids then. We get that a lot. Baldwin sent us to break you all out. I'm just gonna switch my batteries over here. Something I didn't do when I started. There we go. There. Okay, we get that a lot. Baldwin sent us to break you all out. Baldwin is alive? Thank the runes. The others were taken deeper to the stronghold. Good, that's where we're heading. You are? How do you uh, two plan to assault the keep? There are waves of goblins. They will not stop and they will come and watch you with everything they have. But, if you have Baldwin's backing, you shall have mine as well. Uh, can you get me to him? I can make custom tailored armor. That does sound useful. Trust me, it is. Okay, Tristan, send him back with the travel room. You have a travel room? Zip, 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 zoop, zap. <laughs> and, uh, was that a goblin girl? Or a girl? I'm sure, I think so. Do goblins have genders? They have gender pronouns, so I think so? Then I'll say it. She was kind of cute. Don't go hitting on any of the goblins. Guardian defeated Hokan. Bronze master key. There we go. Uh, that key was kept in in a chest. It's probably important. You can uh, now open all the doors and checks locked with this key. There we go. So uh, this is that's where you uh, you have to defeat Hokan to get that uh, bronze key there. If that is something that you liked. Uh, yeah, you do have to defeat Hoken there. If that is something you like, do hit the uh, like, share, follow, all that fun stuff there. Uh, and uh, subscribe, but definitely try and bring you uh, helpful information uh, about Game Pass, Game Pass related games. Uh, by playing through it, give me tips and tricks and final reviews. So if that's something you like, hit the subscribe button. Uh, meanwhile, we're just going to continue on beating our way through here. We have uh, about five minutes left. Uh, we will go into this goblin's booty area, which usually is just a whole bunch of uh, goodies. Um, and
and then we will head back to town and go and sleep and do all that stuff at the end of the episode. Look at that, over a thousand there already now. So just goblin coins everywhere. Let's open this bad boy up. We had the door key room last time. A bow, an excellent bow that once belonged to a renowned archer. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's also, you have the exit beyond uh, this goblin's, uh, goblin's booty area here. So we'll just make sure we've gotten all the coins, everything all busted. Okay. Nope, we had one hiding behind there that we didn't get. Okay, so we're going to exit. It'll probably take us back to the uh, lab in the Moongate area. No, it takes us back to the prisoner's path. Okay. Which is cool, because now we have the key. We can open up a couple of the... One, well, I think one of these chests, anyways. So this door is open with the silver key, which we don't have yet. This is open. We can open up. A bag of gold. A bag of gold coins inside. 250. Nice. So that's open. That's probably our next thing. Uh, for next episode, likely is where we'll be going on next episode. I'm just going to see what other keys. This one's gold. That one's already been open and done. So we've completed two of the five wings. So there's this, still this one down here as well. Which would be silver. So on next episode, after we've... Uh, um, gone to town, we'll come and do Prisoner's Path, will be next episode, we'll go through Prisoner's Path and go through that section there, but, uh, in the meantime, let's just, uh, head back towards the moon gate here, because everything's all been saved for the, uh, use of those room gates, there we go, so we're all back here, and you can take a closer look in the computer here, and kind of mouse around so we this is what we did uh, a couple episodes ago this is what we did today's episode here these three um, with this wing here has the silver key this one here has the key for the main uh, area this one right here this this one we have unlocked so this is the one we'll be able to do next time which looks like it has its own areas off of it as well um, and then once we hopefully get a silver key somewhere in there we can come back and do this one so, uh, yeah, it'll be a prisoner's path on next episode there. And, uh, we are coming up on the end. We'll, uh, we'll talk to her briefly. Children, let me know when you're ready to go. Oh, so she'll talk about each and every one of them. I, I, we're gonna just, uh, go sleep. Ah, right, children, we're gonna go back into the dungeons, fight for goblin freedom. You know, we're actually gonna go sleep. Uh, oh, we can fast travel to there, can we? So, fast travel to the bedroom, go to sleep there. There we go. Getting an uh, extra level, a little bit more uh, boost in stats. Because they'll uh, boost your stamina, they'll boost your. Strength and resistance, I believe. You'll see here in a second. So strength, resistance, and stamina, yeah. And the Happy Fit token gives you access to a training session at the Happy Fit Business Center. Use it if you want to be stronger. There we go, so we got level four. Nice. And uh, all these episodes are going to be like in rhythm almost because last episode I started on the landing, went to the town, did some stuff in town, went and did some dungeons, come back, wake, sleep, wake up, don't have any outfits, so then we'd go downstairs and we're back on the landing again. So the episodes seem to be going just like completely full circle back to where we start right here on the landing. So that's really kind of cool that it does that. I 
don't plan it that way but that's kind of the way things work so we've uh, gotten a little bit more we have a happy fit token we have some other stuff uh next time uh, we will when we go to town we will be going into the well and talk to some of the other goblin guys in there and see what kind of equipment and stuff they'll have in there um so we'll visit the goblin well first and then we're going to go to that uh the area that we have the other key for so uh the rune key for uh so if that's something you like uh hit the subscribe button thanks for joining me for some more young souls uh where the twins tristan and jen are continuing to fight through the goblin hordes that are coming up from underground um actually we are doing sabotage on uh use through the use of gates underneath the ground there is actually more or less what we're doing uh but uh thanks for joining me and uh if there was anything you saw that you liked uh, do hit the uh, subscribe button like follow share all that fun stuff however reminding you until next time take care of yourself your friends and your family take care